pay the rent for the month. See a classy working girl and you don't even take her serious. A bitch sell her body, everybody yelling, period. It's some homebody, real bitches getting cheated on. But I know a bitch that party and her nigga be at home. I know a dead beat that still fuck his baby mama. I know a real father that don't know he ain't the father. I know a bad kid that's living good, get paid allowance. I know a good kid that get abused in vacant housing. Bitches do the bad niggas good and the good ones bad. That's why niggas get the dog and bitches out they pussy cat. Ganging them siblings and them the pain, but I ain't good at that. Bro, keep putting lines in my face like I took a net. I know killers putting hoes and niggas like a black olive. I know a young smart nigga screaming black power. They treat the smart one like he dumb and try to blackball him. Then they treat the dumb one like he smart and make him rap artists. How they say being good hearted bring you good karma. I done got bitches took from me that I took flowers. Niggas make the bad bitches wifey when they should dog them. Then they do the good one slimier than overcooked rhyming. Niggas writing 10 pages. Statements like a book author. They come home, y'all show them live and make them look solid. Solid niggas doing life, nobody from their hood calling. How she get praised, the real shit get. You know, AEW just took another L, bro. So MJF's contract expired on the first of this month. We're in January. And let's be honest, bro. I told people this in countless videos. If Tony Khan can produce. You know, more money for MJF, he'll definitely stay in AEW. But it seems like he's going to WWE and he's definitely going to be in the Royal Rumble, bro. Now, the signs are already there. He basically removed everything that was related to AEW off his X page or his Twitter page, whatever you want to call it. And same thing, he done the same thing on his Instagram it's over, bro. He's going to WWE. The signs are already there. You know what I'm saying? They mentioned this on Dynamite. You know what I'm saying? Adam Cole's promo. MJF is gone. And he's never coming back. So that's pretty much telling people in blind sight that, hey, MJF inked it pen to paper and he's going to WWE. Just like I said, this is another loss for AEW, man. Tony the con man con doesn't know how to be a wrestling booker. He doesn't know how to be a wrestling owner. He wants to be friends with the wrestlers. He wants to hang out with them and, you know, and, and mark out for Bullet Club, which Bullet Club's been dead for countless of years. You know, he's still in the mark phase because he still thinks Bullet Club is still something. Bullet Club is dead, bro. It's been dead since, we'll say, uh... AJ Styles reign of taking over Bullet Club. Kenny Omega, he had a good little time being the leader of the Bullet Club. That's cool in there. But people will say after AJ Styles, yeah, it went downhill. But Tony the Con Man Con doesn't get that. He just lost three of the biggest names ever. He lost Cody Rhodes, who was there in AEW from the very beginning. He went back to WWE and he said, hey, I'm out of here. I'm not staying in AEW because he know AEW was never going to go anywhere. That's the truth of it. Plus, he was mad at Triple H. So, yeah. Jay Cargill, you build her up, having her destroy the entire women's roster of AEW for about a year or so. And then after her contract was come up, you thought you was going to get her to renew. She jumps to WWE and now MJF is doing the same thing. So three big names already left AEW, bro. And anyone who's still going to AEW at this point, they just want to play, play with their buddies. Because <clears throat> let's be real. Nobody is going to AEW thinking... Okay, this is my big opportunity. Because let's be real, it's not. You lost MJF, bro. And he, he's done, man. You know, he's done. <laughs> so, it, that that's all that really needs to be said, man. So, AW, you just lost three of the biggest names in your company that you built up. And now they're gone. That's crazy. It, it, it goes to show you that... Tony the Con Man Con is no Vince McMahon. Tony the Con Man Con is not no Dana White. Tony the Con Man Con wants to be friends with the wrestlers and let the wrestlers run everything. And you saw how that turned out with WCW when they went out of business, when you basically let the wrestlers do what they want. 
Like I said, stop trying to be their friends, man. MJF, he's one of the best talkers y'all have in AEW. But I already knew he was out of there. I already knew. Because let's be real, and I said this countless of times in videos. If you want to be a somebody, if you want to be a household name, you want to be a Brock Lesnar, you want to be a Stone Cold, you want to be a Undertaker, you want to be a Rock, you want to be a Mankind, even though he doesn't get the respect that he deserves, Mick Foley, if that's what you want to call him. We all know him as Mankind, Dude, Love, Cactus Jack, whatever. Uh, Kurt Angle, if you want to be a household name, WWE is the place to go. It doesn't matter if the product sucks. It doesn't matter if the product is stale. It doesn't matter if the product is in shambles. WWE is where you want to be. That's the truth of it, bro. Hands down. A lot of you people don't want to, you don't want to admit this. And a lot of you people still sat here and said, AEW is going to be the WWE killer. When is that going to happen? These people are talking about Wembley Stadium. Wembley Stadium. And lied about the numbers in Wembley. <laughs> Nobody is watching AEW. Nobody cares about AEW, man. The only time you care about AEW or remotely think about AEW is when you're watching clips on YouTube. You're not about to sit there and watch a full episode of Rampage, which nobody cares about that dead, <laughs> that dead brand anymore or whatever the dead show, whatever you want to call it. You know, nobody's watching Collision anymore. You know what I'm saying? It dynamite just been boring. Like, let's be real. I try to tell people a long time ago, man, you're not going to get rid of WWE. WWE has been around for centuries, bro. They are global. They are international. Everybody knows WWE. Everybody knows them. Who knows AEW besides a few people who channel served and be like, okay, let's mm, wrestling on TBS. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh, okay. And, and, and change the channel. You got, like I said in my uh, video before, in the downfall of AEW, you have Matt and Jeff Hardy, legends, future Hall of Famers, Hall of Fame careers, and you put them on Rampage, a dead, <laughs> a dead show that should have been erased along with AEW Dark, and you're telling me. You're wasting away Matt and Jeff Hardy on, on Rampage? Come on, bro. This is how you treat legends? It makes no sense, bro. They should be on Dynamite. You know what I'm saying? They should be competing on Ring of Honor that y'all love to push. They should be um, on Dynamite. That's where they should be. Matter of fact, they should be back in WWE instead of being hard-headed. Matt and Jeff should be like, you know what? Let's go back to WWE because at least then we'll get a hero's reception. They're on Dynamite, wasting away. <laughs> Not even Dynamite, Rampage. Oh, my God. They're on Rampage, wasting away. Like I said, man, this goes to show you that Tony the Con Man Con using these wrestlers as action figures. He doesn't see these people as talent. You telling me you got the Hardy Boys on your roster and you're not utilizing them? Come on, man. This right here goes to show you that Tony the Con Man Con doesn't know what he's doing. And let's not talk about the fact that they lost, you know, the whole entire women's division. Because now you got Deanna Perrazzo. We'll see how you book her, you know. But other than that... Back on topic, you lost MJF, bro. You lost MJF. <laughs> and I don't blame him for going to WWE. I don't blame him. But what MJF needs to do, since he's uh, going to be a part of WWE, he needs to trademark his name. Because WWE loves to trademark your name, so when they do release you and cut you, you can no longer use the name that you built. Jay Cargill, she was smart because she copyrighted her name. So she owns 
the property of her name. So MJF should do the same thing. It's copyright, trademark, everything, his name. So WWE can't strip him from it. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to be something crazy at the Royal Rumble, man, when MJF comes out and we all going crazy and going bananas and losing our minds and be like, oh, this is actually happening. But Tony the Con Man Con, you did this to yourself, man. You lost another one. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who's smart, they'll get they'll run away from AEW. Because let's be real, every independent wrestler right now who stumbles across this video, who stumbles across anything that I ever talked about AEW related, every person is gonna say the same thing. Go to WWE if you want to be a big name. That's the only way. The only way. I don't care if you're in catering. I don't care if you're in the back playing hopscotch with your friends. At least you're part of a world wide company that you have the opportunity to learn, to grow from the greats. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, AEW, eh. But if you have to go somewhere, if WWE doesn't want you, hey, go to Impact Wrestling or TNA Wrestling. You know? <laughs> TNA had every big name star come through there. From Hulk Hogan to Kevin Nash to Kurt Angle. They had everybody there. You know what I'm saying? From Matt and Jeff Hardy. I mean, hey. What AEW is, is an Impact Wrestling 2.0. They had every big name there too and still can't crack over a million ratings. Like I said, man, it is what it is, bro. MJF is his basically WWE bound. He removed everything related to AEW off his socials. And hey, the proof was right there. You know, that's just the truth of it, man. Anyway, I'm signing out, man. Your boy GK.